So in this video, we're going to look at a couple of UV improvements. Um, the first one relates to these align buttons, which have been in Moto since 101. And as you probably know, what they do, so you select the UV and then hit that, it'll straighten, straighten them up. The problem comes when you have multiple edges like that. If you run it, it will just get flattened um, together, which is um, I can't think of a situation where that is actually useful. So what we've got now is when you hold down Alt, you can see that the, uh, the align icons change. So now they're going to work on multiple selections. Um, so if I hold down Alt and click the button, it'll align them all in one go, rather than having to do them individually. So when you um, use the Fit UV command, it always fits it right up to the edge of the UV space, uh, which can cause a lot of problems with uh, pixel blending and that kind of thing. So what we've added into the uh, fit command is the ability to apply some padding um, to the fit process. Um, so I will hold down control and bring up the fit UV options. You see we've now got this gaps by pixel option. Now if I, if I put in, say, 20 pixels there, you see it gives you a, um, a percentage amount um, as well. So the two, these, these two um, values are linked. And it's taking the, um, the pixel size from the texel density image size um, value in there. Um, so if you have an image, which I've got here loaded, I'll just make it visible. Zoom in so we can see the pixels. Okay, so if I go to the text density and I'll, I'll grab um, that image size so I know it's um, the right one. When I come to use the uh, fit UV command, I can say, okay, give me a gap of six pixels. When you do the fit, and when you hit run, you can see that those, those UVs have now been brought in by six pixels all the way around. Let's show you the side. Yep, there you go. So have a play with these two features, and there are, there are two questions I would like you to ponder for me. First of all, what do you think um, about using this texel density image size um, to define that gap, gaps by pixel? Um, I'm not sure why that, that decision was made initially. Um, I'm kind of the opinion that it might, it might be a nicer workflow to just be able to use the selected image in the in the uh, image viewport. I'm not sure whether that's possible or not, but um, just let me know if, if, if you're kind of happy to use that um, that kind of workflow. And the other one relates to this line thing here. So I find it a little bit strange that we've now got this kind of it's kind of two options. So you hold down Alt. And it gives you the uh, the multiple um, option when really if i just select one and do and use do, do the multiple one it still works um, so i'm wondering whether we're kind of unnecessarily doubling up the tools there uh, the only reason why you would keep um, the original ones um, is if you did want this kind of thing to happen um, so let me know if, if this kind of situation is something you would you would ever need. Okay.